Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Jaleesa and if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's get straight into the video. Alright you guys, so in today's video what I'm going to be doing is giving you some wig tips on how to protect your hair underneath your wig. Alright you guys, so the first tip is to moisturize your hair with your braid down. So I do my own braid downs. As you can see, my braids are pretty flat. What I like to use is Seal It Up by Aunt Jackie's and I use this almost as if like a leave-in for my hair and I just rub that in my hands and I apply it all throughout my hair. I make sure that I brush it and make sure that my ends are coated with the product. That way it adds moisture to the ends of my hair to protect them while it's braided down. And then I just braid, okay? So I make sure that I do this because I want to be sure that my hair is moisturized even while it's in the protective style. As you can see, this is the back of my head. And I also like to make sure I braid my hair down to the ends and clip up my ends. That also helps protect your hair as well. So then the next thing that I like to do is I oil my scalp. I know this is like super duper old school, but yes, I still oil my scalp. I'm not going all the way to the front because since I'm doing a lace front wig, I don't want the bonding to have anything like a barrier in between. So just make sure that you at least go midway and just go through and oil your scalp. I feel like this really has helped me grow my hair, my kids hair, my husband's hair. We use wild growth oil and it works. Now we all secure our wig with got to be glued. I do this method so that it's a situation where I can take my wig off at night and I want to take my wig off at night because I like to moisturize my hair daily. I think this has definitely helped protect my hair underneath my wigs. So what I do is use a little bit of water and I do just a little bit of sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil together and spray that on my scalp. And then after that I like to do a little scalp massage. A scalp massage helps um, bring back that circulation um, to your hair follicles so that your hair can grow. I love doing scalp massages I think that it really does help promote hair growth which is something that you definitely want to add to your routine to get that hair to grow underneath that wig sis now my next thing is you have to secure your edges so when you're using any type of glue bonding with your lace fronts you want to definitely secure your edges there's several reasons why you want to do that you want to secure your edges to make sure that the glue does not stop your hair from adhering to your actual forehead if the hair is there it makes it harder for your hair to bond with the glue and to secure your wig next thing I like to do is I like to tie down my edges just to make sure that they're flat as possible and kind of like set them in place so before you do any type of lace fronts or anything like that please ladies secure your edges it makes putting on the wig so much easier be sure that your hair and your wig is dry sis because Fungi and bacteria actually thrives in moist environments and especially since you're putting a wig on your hair That means that your scalp is not going to be getting any type of air between there You want to make sure your hair and your wig is dry to make sure that no bacteria or fungi develops because at the end of the day That can stunt your hair growth. So let's dry that hair ladies Okay, so next you want to be mindful of your wig placement and what I mean by this is you see the clips that are on the side You want to make sure that that's not digging into your scalp because that can also damage your scalp and mess up your hair growth And you also want to make sure that your wig is not too tight sis tight wigs do not help nobody Alright ladies, and my last tip is definitely to make sure that you tie your hair down at night. Now because I'm able to take my wig off every night because I use the got to be glued, it is very important for you to tie down your hair. This makes your braids last longer. This ensures that your hair is not rubbing against your pillow, which can also cause problems if you're not using a silk pillow. So tying your hair down just guarantees that you are securing those braids and protecting your scalp. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't be a stranger hit me up in the comments and tell me what you think about this video. Alright you guys, until next time, peace!